Which of the following graphs show a removable discontinuity? Select all that apply. Okay, so a removable discontinuity. Let's talk about when that happens. So a removable discontinuity occurs when the limit happens to exist. So the limit as x approaches some value of a function exists, but does not equal the function value at that particular point. And that can be because the function value is not defined, or it could be because it's just some other value. But uh, that's when uh, removable discontinuities occur. But it's really mostly important that the limit exists. Okay, so here's a couple of things. So first off, in this first example, let's just call this one. All right, the uh, discontinuity that's occurring here is at this asymptote, whatever this asymptote is. So we'll say x equals a. The limit from the left is positive infinity. The limit from the right is positive infinity. And so those limits agree. And so we would say that the limit as x approaches a of that function is positive infinity. But even though we're saying it's positive infinity, we still have to sort of understand that that really does not exist because infinity doesn't exist. But we don't answer with does not exist. We answer with the best answer, but it's understood that application-wise, we don't use it as a number. So um, that right there is not a removable discontinuity. So we can toss out one as a possibility. All right, two. Here we have a discontinuity, which is a hole, coming from the left-hand side and the right-hand side. We're approaching the same value, so that limit exists. The function's not defined, and so that is a discontinuity. But because the limit exists, this is a removable discontinuity. So that one is removable. The next graph, the uh, third we'll say here, the limit from the left and the limit from the right are agreeing with one another. It does look like they're approaching zero. The function itself. So we'll just say limit as x approaches a of my function is 0. The function itself at that particular point, which it looks like 0 itself, but that's OK, um, is something else. Maybe it's 1, you know, maybe it's 2, who knows, based off this, since there's no scale. But it's not 0. It's definitely not 0. And so the limit exists, but it's not equal to this value. So that is a removable discontinuity. And it, Again, doesn't really matter what's happening there. It's really just that this limit exists, and that makes it removable. And lastly, we have the limit from the left and the limit from the right. And let's take a look at what's happening here. So the limit from the left is looking like it's 0. The limit from the right is something other than 0. So the limit from the left and the right, as we approach this limit value a, and I'm calling this a, whatever it happens to be, that limit does not exist. And if the limit does not exist, it's a non-removable discontinuity. So this one does not count as a removable discontinuity.